Hi, everybody. Welcome to Shoshana Rose Radio Program. I'm your teacher and your friend, Ann Finkelman, and I'm delighted that you tuned in today. As usual, we have another anointed couple that God has sent to this set, and I'm honored to have them today. We're going to talk about Israel. We have an Israeli singer, her wonderful husband, and you're going to be excited. So get a piece of paper, get your Bible, get your favorite cup of coffee, and just stay with us for about an hour, okay? And then you'll be able to circulate this video. If you notice, there's a shofar on the set. Someone gave me a shofar. And I'm going to tell you about the story if we have time at the end of the program. But I want to give our special guests all the time they need. They travel. They teach the word. Um, Oksana has a tremendous testimony. She's uh, a Russian. And, and she's, I mean, there's a lot of, I just want to get right to it. You want to find me, Facebook, Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Ministries International. You want to sow a seed of financial seed, you can go to paypal.com or contact me. And I'd be happy for you to hook up to our ministry. Amen. So we have a book we're going to talk about. We have a song and audio book with a card, which I've just been introduced to, Oksana Eliyahu, which is absolutely wonderful. And so I'm going to let Boas talk about that. And Oksana, she is not only a recording artist, you write your books, you write your songs. Yes. Yeah, she writes her songs. And she's very anointed of God, they both are. And they travel the country. And if you want to have them come to your flock, we're going to tell you how you can do that. You'll be blessed because they're mobile. Okay, they live in Israel sometimes, they live here in the States, and they travel all over the place, wherever God opens the door. And you won't be sorry. Amen. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Boaz and his beautiful wife, Oksana Eliyahu, and I'm going to let him introduce her and what they do, and then we're going to let the Holy Spirit continue to lead. Amen? Thank you for coming. I appreciate your time, and I know you guys travel all over the place, but God brought you here, and I'm, I'm grateful that God brought you to our set. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, we've been traveling in Florida for about uh, six to seven weeks now, and uh, this is our final uh, our final ministry work today in Florida, and we will be going to uh, Thomasville, Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, come Shabbat. Mm -hmm. And this is my lovely wife, Oksana Eliyahu, the recording artist from Israel. Yeah, she's beautiful, mm -hmm. and she's anointed to God. And when the first time I met them was last year, when was it? A year and a half, maybe. And the Lord said to invite them to the radio program, so I did. And her testimony, she sings. And she sings beautifully. She sings in Hebrew. She sings in English. She sings in Russian. Spanish yet? Spanish. Spanish. Yes, she sings in Spanish. So you that are in those countries, you can invite them. You that are in those churches that are Russian churches and some, you know, Russian-speaking churches, Spanish-speaking churches, Italian-speaking churches, you want to have them come. And her testimony is a God testimony. Amen. So we're going to see which way God's uh, leading us. What would you like to begin with, Oksana? I, I really thank you for inviting us, and uh, it's a pleasure to be on your show. And uh, really, there's so much to share that I don't know what uh, you know I should uh, talk about. We really, uh, you know, it's not our idea mm -hmm. to to do this, uh, you know, traveling. But somehow my life, it was all about uh, yeah. going from one place to another, yeah. from one country to another. Yeah. I, I really never knew that it's going to be like this, you know, yeah. the kind of gypsy life. Yeah. And you said yes to God. Yeah, we just, uh, I, I still, like, there was one, uh, there, there was some problems, you know, when you're on the road, you have a lot of, uh, uh, we have tons of stories, and it actually became a testimony. First you think, oh, that's, uh, that's it. It's uh, the end of the, yeah. of life, maybe yeah. even, yeah. you know, it's life and, yeah. and death situations. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you think, maybe that's it. Maybe God uh, wants to, you know, do something different, open another page. But still, it looks like uh, like our schedule is so full, yeah. and we are we are doing more and more ministering in many different new places and the same places. So it's uh, you know we really follow kind of his call. Yeah, his, his his flowing. And when she began, that's so good because all of you know this ministry is promoting the kingdom of heaven and urging you as the, as the viewers to get into your calling. 
You know, so many believe this they wouldn't do. You know, they think um, they want to live a lifestyle of ease and comfort, and they don't want to get it. Like you said, you never knew when you got out on the road what if God would have shown you what was out on the road. Most of us would say, uh, no. But then it becomes exciting because we see the hand of God, and that's what you're saying. You, you didn't know it was going to be like no, this. No. Also, some people say, oh, this is the life I want. Yeah. But when they try it, yeah, see that's so good. That's it's good. It's not really this easy like people think. You yeah, know? it's good. We're really missing, you know, fellowship with the same yeah. people. We yeah. miss so many things. We live in a bus. Yeah. You know, and uh, and I can't complain. I really thank God for this yeah. amazing life that He yeah. is giving us because when you work in His purpose, yeah. this is a, you know this is a happiness. Because it's a, you know, happiness is not really have a big house, big car, yeah, and big yeah, money. Yeah. Happiness is really to live in trust in Him. Right, follow His calling. Yeah, because when you trust in Him, this is said, Ashrei Aish, you know, happy is the man right. uh, who is uh, uh, live in trust, you know, it's... Uh, trust in And one. it's not said that it's easy. Right, right, but no, no. Look what Paul went through, the Apostle Paul. Look what he went through, Paul. He had a constant adventure, you know, as we did. Right, as we, right. And when you get out on the road, sometimes you not know. I've been out on the road, headed back out on the road again, and it sometimes it could be rough. You go in, you go into the houses of God, you go into the ministries, and you're thinking everybody's kind and loving and warm like you, and going to be sweet and going to be full of God. And then you get in there, and you find out that a lot of times we're not bashing any ministries. But a lot of times, their devils come to church. And, and God uses the good and the bad to train us to walk in the love of God, to walk in humility, to walk in, um, in peace, and to love everybody. And so our job as ministers is to bring the Holy Spirit wherever he wants to go. And that may be you. Maybe you say, oh, I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Well, you don't need an agent. You have the Holy Spirit as your agent. Okay, and he'll open doors. This is an open door. I invited them. The Lord said, invite them. I was, I heard them one night. Then I went to second uh, Messianic synagogue and heard them a second night. And the Lord said, invite them. So I did. And it took a while for them to get here because they travel so much. They were in Israel several times, you know, several months a year as well. So if you're looking for, um, want to hear the story of how the destination is the name of the book. Okay. And that explains Oksana's testimony. When they began, they just began like normal people. We're going to go and do this thing. And it turned into an adventure. Is that right? Absolutely. Lois? And now we have the book, The Destination, in three languages. Three it's ahead. also in Russian, and we just okay. issued it, start printing last month in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So uh, El Destino is also available now. And what does it talk about? Oops. Well, it's the story of Oksana's life. Tonight. It's actually two love stories, okay? Two love stories. It's real romantic two love stories. I love that. One is uh, about, uh, you know, our love and how God actually, how he started this, uh, you know, romantic uh, story yes. with him because yes. I never wanted any God. I was so far away from God. I was taught from my childhood that God doesn't exist. They brainwashed us in Russia. I was born in Russia. And um, it was just absolutely not my thing. Yeah. I was in my thing, uh, thing yeah. you know, up to here. Yeah. The layers yeah. and layers. And I thought I'm an amazing moral standard person. Yeah. I never thought that there is some other standard, standard of God. So when you don't know the standard of God, you can actually be really deceived. So, again, I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't move my finger, you know, I didn't uh, do one step towards God. It's all Him. The one that chased me down, like what I say, He just chased me down. You know, He just, uh, you know, through dreams, I, I wish we would have the poster. We have a poster of my dream, actually, that recently was done, because this dream made a huge uh, impact and, and actually move uh, uh, many things uh, in my life and uh, I can share about the dream. Maybe. Whatever, whatever's on your heart. Yeah, you this know. Is, this is the platform for the Holy Spirit, so whatever's on your heart. I'm just a little MC 
Yes, the Shoshana Rose Radio Program, but I want you guys to tell the audience what God has done in your life and how you love him and how, how he uses you. I'm very, and I could say impressed, not that it's, I don't impress easily, but when I heard your testimony, even before you met Boaz, how you, you traipsed, almost like the Nazi Holocaust, you kept going and going and through, against all odds, and you were hiding, and, and God was protecting you, and, and it just intrigued me the way God used you. And then you met your Boaz, and your, your life just increased, and the adventure uh, expanded, you know? And it's really a love story. The whole thing is a love story. It's a God it's story. No, the, the, it's the, love the first story. love story is really how finally, you know, God put the seed in me and uh, move my, you know, all understanding yeah. through this dream yeah. and yeah. through yeah. The, all these uh, trials that I had to go through. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the, the second part of the book, it's actually it's a romantic story. Like, uh, people ask, but what about you? You are like Russian, Israeli. Who are you? It's hard yeah. to even understand. Yeah. Yeah. And this is American. Like, how you yeah. guys met? How'd you every, meet you? Yeah. Every woman wants to meet her Boaz. Yeah, I actually, yeah. Yeah, Boaz, it's a given name. Yeah. You know, I gave yeah. it to him. Yeah. Well, he usually so, so people, and I didn't know when I gave the, him the same boys, I didn't really know that in America, or in, maybe it's uh, English speaking, I don't know, they kind of have this idea that boys, this is the name for, you know, your... Prince Charming. Uh, yeah, Prince Charming. Prince Charming. Of, Prince Charming. So I didn't know, because I just really, I prayed actually, and I was looking for, for the name. It, it was the reason why I did it, first of all, I wanted him to have a, 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 a real Jewish name, and second, his name was very complicated, okay? Right. So right. I'm not going to say it, it's right. a, you know, if you want to know more, actually there is some kind of ideas here. But anyway, a good book. Yeah, I just want to say that it's a very romantic love story, but I didn't put it in the book because it's just an amazing mm -hmm. romantic story. Mm -hmm. I put it in the book because it's tremendous mm -hmm. testimony of God. Because he, even in this, you know, in this love story, there was so many obstacles. There was pretty much walls of, uh, you know, that was, uh, you know, blocking yeah. this uh, relationship and it was not possible. Literally, in our level, physical level, it was not possible. Right. But with God, all things are possible. Yes, all things exactly. are possible with Absolutely. God. What is the key? The key is yielding, right? Yes. And I love you. I love her childlike faith. It's like, Lord, I didn't know what was going on, but, but by listening to her, it's encouraging you, okay? It's encouraging you to say, you know, I really don't know how to. You don't have to know how to. You just have to say yes, is that right? That's pretty much the case. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we don't really, you know, understand what really God wants. And we can understand because we need to surrender because his ways are so different from ours. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we say, oh, it would be good for me to do this. This uh, is my ministry. And, you know, if you didn't pray, even your good intentions can be absolutely wrong. And you can actually, uh, you know, be very deceived and have too many troubles and even, you know, be sick if I, it depends on what. We have to understand that even our good intention, it's nothing. It's actually maybe even garbage because if we don't go, go by his, you know, right. plan, Right. You know, if, if we are not going on his plan, you're going some kind of your plan. Right. And your plan right. does, doesn't worth anything. Right. It's just not worth your energy. Your, because sometimes many, many people today, even about the book, you know, they want to write a book. Did you pray about that? Right. Did you get right. confirmation from two, at least two, uh, right. uh, sources, right. you know. Right. Why are you I, writing a book? No, I actually right. didn't want to write right. a book. Right. I right. was fighting God. I said, no, I'm, I'm writing music. I'm writing lyrics, right. songs, poetry. Right. But book, it's not my thing. Yeah. And it's so hard. And what kind of language can I write? I, I, you know, because I speak so many languages, you know, you, you're not perfect in any language pretty right. much. I have accent in right. every language. Right. So I, I said, okay, what do I do? Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I never even asked before, but, but people were asking me. Right. We were going to many, many churches, and they were asking me, don't you have a book or anything right. written? Right. Because we want to share the story. I said, no, no, I'm not, 
I'm not a writer. And all the time they were asking, asking and I, and asking for two and years, asking. for two years, I just, I don't want to think about that. But finally... It's a lot of work to write a book's a lot of work. Yes, it and is. And it's hard. No, maybe some people like to write. I right. didn't. Right. It was a very right. big right. giant for me. Right. So, so I actually said, okay, after two years of asking, asking, you know, people mm -hmm. so many of them asking, so I decided to pray. Okay. Uh, uh, she, just, <laughs> she decided to pray. Because ding, ding, ding. But that's what we have to do. But if two years people are saying it and saying it everywhere you go, saying it, she knew enough. Okay, God. Because I didn't want to do oh, it. Okay, I God. didn't want to do it. I was still saying, okay, God, yeah. if it's your idea, yeah. you really, you know, I want to, I'm like Gideon, you know, I want to see the, the dew under yeah. the grass or on yeah. the top. Yeah. So I said, I want someone to tell me these very words. Oksana, you need to write a story of your testimony, a book of your testimony. Mm -hmm. What do you think? See, if you tell God, if, I heard a long time ago, I used to, somebody once said, don't say to God, what do you want me to do? Because he'll get in your business. He will get in our business. And he will, like you say, what do you think? No, Someone I said, actually didn't. I hope that I will never hear exact very words. Yeah, yeah. So, but one week later, we were doing a revival in Buckley, Missouri, and uh, it was not even, I didn't even have enough time. I had like 40 minutes to speak. Usually I take like one hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. And uh, uh, one lady, you know, after everybody gone, she just kind of came and, you know, she didn't even say hello, uh, good evening, or shalom, anything. Yeah, yeah. She came straight forward, looking in my eyes, saying, Aksana. You need to write a book of your testimony. Okay. I'm telling you now, you two can year, see it. Two Good years. Spot. You two can years. See it. Yeah, yeah, spot. yeah. Two years, the presence of God. Finally. I, I mean, I was like, oh no. Oh no, what I can do now. I have to do it. I have to write this book. How do I do it? What and do I do? And I didn't know how to do it, really. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to start it with. And I didn't want to share my message. Right. Right. I didn't want to share right, so personal people will message, read right. and you know where I was because I was in right. such a darkness and, and I didn't yeah. want anyone kind of you know to discover it. Yeah. So first I decided uh, again there was a like we were in uh, Oregon and there was one young lady she said I was after the after the concert or ministry she wanted to come together to eat. Yeah. So we went to eat and then she said, can you guys tell me the story, how you met? And, and we shared our yeah, story. Yeah. And we were story. laughing and we were, you know, almost like emotional. It was such a great story. Mm -hmm. And uh, next day on Facebook, she wrote me. She said, Aksana, your story really impacted me. It, it gave does. me hope. It does. It, it's, uh, it so much encouraged me. I thank you so much for sharing this with me. I didn't share my, my first yeah. love story, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, and I decided, why should I write the whole book of my message, on my darkness, right. on, you know, about this, uh, how God was taking me out and, right. and uh, cleaning me and stuff like that. I will just write a love story. Right. So, this is how I started to write. Right. So again, I, I was writing, and it was very, very hard. If you're not and, a, if, right. So I had to take courses. I had to read a book, how to write the book. I had to go to uh, critique groups. I found some critique groups. I was really, because I understood that God wants it. So that, I had to oh, that's obey. Good. That's good. That's good right there. There's so many people in the body of Christ that are not doing anything because they don't know how or they don't think they're qualified or, or they don't have money. But look at what you did. You knew God wanted it. So you took classes, you took critique, you were proactive. Yeah, but I still didn't want to write everything. Right, okay. but, you, but you said, okay, God, okay, okay, okay. I'll obey you. I don't want to. But I don't still to wanted to go yeah. like easy yeah. way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. when I came to critique group with my, That's you good. know, first chapters about my love story, yeah. and I kind of wanted to call it how I found my boss. So they said, Aksana, you cannot start book like that. <laughs> you have to give a little bit background. And I said, why do they need background? They just right. know it. Right. They just know it. Right. They just want to know I what. So I, I said, understand. okay, fine. I am going to write this uh, 
background. So I put all my background, all this, you know, yeah, yeah. in three pages, but yeah. condensed, yeah. condensed. And I came to the critique group, and, and I read my three pages of background, and they're in awe. Mm -hmm. They said, wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing. You have to write more about live, life in Russia, mm -hmm. about life in Italy, mm -hmm. about, you know, your Vienna experience, mm -hmm. about uh, Israel. It's, it's really uh, tremendous. It's you tremendous. have to, before you start all this, you need to, and I said, yeah, sure, you, you, you don't know anything. So what right. I decided to do, I was still going out, you know, like, uh, like yeah. Yona, yeah. trying to go to Ni, not to go to Nineveh. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to another critique group. I don't want, they just, you know, they want what they want, I'm not going to do what they want. So you probably know what happened. Mm -hmm. When I came to of course, another... The uh, Holy Spirit got her. Sometimes, you know, uh, God can talk through non-believers as well. That's right. He you speaks know? to everything. So when, to I, animals. when I came, it was, I think, secular group. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I read my uh, background there. And uh, No, actually, I started to, to read uh, these um, uh, chapters. And they said, Oksana, you need to, to have a background again. So, and the, they also said that you have to write much more. So I knew that it, it was actually God because it said, uh, according to two witnesses, uh, we say Yakum uh, Davar, like the the truth will be uh, revealed. Yeah. So this was a, like I really felt convicted. Like I felt God is you know saying to me you have to do, you have to write my story. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first, uh, the first name of the I book... I love this, called The Destination. You I know the this. name was not The Destination. I love the picture. The first name was The Author. But when I called it The Author, I didn't mean me. Right. But well, everyone thought that it's me. Right. So I had to change because I, I, I was meaning that he is the author of my life. Right. He is the author of this book. I had nothing really right. about me. So, but, but people thought it's kind of me. That's why I yeah. changed it. And I had like 15 uh, titles that I, I didn't know what to choose. I was praying. Well, you didn't know praying. you weren't a writer. You know, you know, see, this is so encouraging. This is phenomenal. Can you hear what's going on here? Here's this woman of God. She didn't know what she was doing as far as doing, doing, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But she followed the leading of the Holy Spirit. In the middle of that, along the way, she met her Boaz. How many women want to meet their Boaz? You hear single women. Ah, oh, my Boaz is coming, my Boaz is coming. What does that mean? That means he's a mensch. Explain what a mensch is. You know what a mensch is? I'm She's not sure gonna, what a mensch you know, is. A mensch is, in the Yiddish, in the Hebrew, it's a man of stature, an uh, honorable man, a good man. And God threw some looks in there, okay? You get your Boaz. Ruth in the Bible, what happened when she got her Boaz? He was, a, he was a man known in the gates. He tended to her. He loved her. He cared for her. He noticed her. He helped her. He protected her. He guarded her. He served God with her, or she served God with him. This is a mensch. When someone's a mensch, you want a Boaz, that's a mensch. Say, God, send me a mensch, you single women out there. She got her Boaz, he's a mensch, because she's a princess, amen? You have to show God that you mean business. She said, God, I'm gonna do this thing. I don't know how to do it. I mean, I took classes, I'm like, I'm not a writer. I mean, who do you think a New York best time seller? Uh, all these people that write, and, but she wasn't, but God made her a writer. Are you open to what God has for you? That's what I love about it. I love her childlike faith. She has like this, this testimony. When I first heard her, it was like, it wasn't churchy at all. It was just, I'll follow you, God. Wherever you send me, I'll follow you. And because of her obedience, she met her Boaz. And now they go, two hearts beating is one, proclaiming who Yeshua is. And God has taken them around the world. You want them to come into your congregation. You want them in your synagogue. You want them in your church. If you're not a pastor, tell your pastor. I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. Amen? Your testimony when you went to Russia and, and when you went to Vienna, I mean, it really intrigued me. Now, the writing part, Oksana, when did you begin singing? Because your voice is, is really heaven-touched, your voice. I love you singing different languages. I love how you sing. And it really 
Um, and it takes a lot for me. I've seen it all. I've been in this thing 44 years, walking with God. And I've seen the generals. I've been around the generals. I've been around how they are. I've been around them behind closed doors when we all ate together. But when I see a person who's humble and who loves God and just wants to follow, oh God, teach me thy ways that I might not sin against you. Just lead me in your ways. This is what God will do with a person and a couple. So tell me how you're singing. How, and yeah, then we'll the get the music to it's along also. It's another testimony, and I have a few chapters on that. Yeah. It's, uh, I really, uh, was, I was writing lyrics uh, mm -hmm. even when I was a teenager. Okay. And I was writing kind of songs using some melodies of uh, like famous melodies. Okay. Some of them were like some kind of dirty songs or, or love songs, you know. Romantic and Romantic, yeah, for my, and all my that. parents. But uh, when I fell in love with Yeshua, there we go. then I started writing to him. And it was just, just, just was coming out, coming out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then after a while, actually, God gave me so the good. gift of writing music as well. Mm -hmm. So again, I, people ask you how you write music. I don't really sit and write right. music. It comes out of your spirit, it comes from the Holy Spirit. You don't know how, like, how to write music. No, I it actually, I, I kind of hear something, you know, mm -hmm. and it usually comes uh, with the words. I'm trying always to record when it's something coming, like even your phone device, you know. If you, so, and then after a while I listen to it, and sometimes it's just, you know, I'm listening what came out of me and it, it's ministering to me. Mm -hmm. So I feel that there is power in it. Mm -hmm. And only then I actually need to take my guitar and uh, find chords mm -hmm. and kind of write the chord. Then I kind of write it, but it's already there. Yeah, so I cannot even right. take credit yeah. from it, you know. Right. I cannot even take right. credit no, but right. for me because right. I didn't do anything. I just heard. Right. And I, I put it on a recording, and then I yeah. start writing the chords and, and work, on the, work on the production. Yes, production takes a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot yeah. of, you know, yeah. uh, effort. It takes time and effort. money, effort. And uh, we do it even. you make, you learn from your mistakes, you know. Even you we do it, like, even while we're traveling and living mm -hmm. in a, a motor home, which is a bus, you yeah. know. Would we, you? I still work there. I, I always, yeah. we always do things, we work on the music, yeah. we stop, sometimes uh, we stop at the church, and church allow us to use the room, so I have a yeah. little re recording yeah. studio, portable, so we just yeah. recorded recently five songs in French, I, I'm working on editing them, I mean, I wrote Amanda. almost all my songs in Hebrew, but today they are translated into English, Spanish, Russian, Wonderful. French, and even some someone is now translating in German. I mean, this is unbelievable. I never even thought it's half of it. it. You know, God is so amazing. Isn't that exciting? I mean, I'm like, what God will do, because there's so many of you, you don't know what to do for God, beloved. You don't know how to do it. Listen to this woman of God. She didn't know how to do it. She's doing it. It's not hard. I want to just give you, before I turn, turn this over to the man of God, how he met his princess, and tell you about this beautiful, I wouldn't even call it a ministry card. It's the best songs. It's an audio book. It's called The Destination. It's a USB card, actually. It's a USB, and we're gonna, I'm going to let Boaz talk, tell you about it, because I don't know anything about it. I'm learning, my, <laughs> I'm, learning my, I'm learning myself. When I wrote, you all of you know, I have a daily devotional coming out. And it's been, a, it's been several years, but with, with hopefully this year it's going to be published. How I started that, I didn't know how to write. I didn't know anything about writing. I didn't even think about writing. I thought that's for somebody in New York at the New York Times bestseller, you know, list. And so the Lord wanted me to um, send emails out. So several hundred, maybe a little more now. And I started sending Monday through Friday, prayer, praise, proclamation, and gift of prophecy. I started flowing in the gift of prophecy. I don't know how it happened. It's like you said, just come out. So I did this for a year, Monday through Friday. And then actually when Saturday and Sunday came, I thought, Phew, I don't have to think about what I'm going to write for Saturday and Sunday. So, so which is Monday through Friday. So Rosh Hashanah came. Many of you that watch this program know I'm born Jewish. You know that it's a messianic ministry as well. And so Rosh Hashanah, I, I'm praying and I'm seeking God. And I said to God, you want me to do another year? He said, no. 
this is going to be your first book. I understand. I said to him, I don't know how to write a book. What do you mean this is going to be my first book? I don't know how to write a book. And he began to teach me. He said, it's going to be a daily devotional. He said, everything you've written, January to December, it's going to be prayer, praise, proclamation, and the gift of prophecy. And so that's what the book's going to be. And he said, it's going to draw my people into the inner chambers of my spirit because you know how to go there. You're going to take them. And I'm like, I don't know how. I understand. I was like, but I don't know how. Nobody's my family ever wrote books. I didn't know what to do. I never went to school to learn how to write books. But God began to teach me, as this woman of God said, so I know if you, all you have to do is say, yes, God, yes, God. And he will lead and guide you by his spirit into all truth. That's a miracle. You don't have to be qualified. He doesn't look for the qualified. He looks for the available. Is that right? Yeah, we also need, like, uh, really to want to find out. It's right. work, you know. It's, it's a uh, lot of work. It's work. Like, it took me two years, and I, uh, I actually, when even the book was written already, uh, I... Uh, I kind of felt no way people are going to read it now. Right, right. I was scared because I opened up so many right. things that it was almost going to make it out, out yeah, there. You didn't you know? know, right. So, no, I mean, I, I knew that it's already written. I had yeah. to open up and it was, uh, you know, a little scary until I started getting amazing response. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, people were just uh, saying, you know, we don't you have another book? Don't you have like a continuation? I really, should, like one lady said, I really like uh, want it more. When I finish the book, I wish it would be more. Mm -hmm. But in the same time, it's good to leave readers right. to want more. It made then them, it, it's too much. It made right? them hungry. Yeah. So so we have uh, in Amazon, you know, they don't let people anymore to leave reviews for us. We have 61 reviews. And I know many people try to write, they don't post it, they don't believe that it can be all five-star reviews. Right. They don't do it, they think right. we are doing fake or, right. or I'm paying maybe people. Right. Believe me, now I'm telling, when a person is asking for a book, now I can I be confident it. and say you for sure will love it. You for sure would not be able to put as it a down. People, it's it's, it's a, not because of me. It's, because the, it's God's choice that he's putting in favor with the people that they love. Everybody loves a romance. And when God is in it, it's the best. It's the best yeah. romance. And that's what you've done. You've really, that's aside from the singing that God has, has in, that his God has gifted her in, the testimony, her childlike faith is what intrigued me. What God will do with someone that just says, God, here I am, I surrender. I don't know what I'm doing, but I love you, Yeshua, and I don't want to do the bad things anymore like all of us. I want to serve you. Because once he touches you deep down in your innermost being, you will never be the same, beloved. We're going to give you a chance, if you don't know him today, to come into the kingdom of God, which takes me to the next part of your wonderful gifting, woman of God, the singing. What I have never seen, what is this, folks? Well, this is 56 songs on that, a that's amazing. little USB port, which opens up kind of like this. And Oksana has 10 albums now of music. This has 56 of what she considered the best songs from, that would be of, of about 120 songs to start wow. with. More than 120, mm -hmm. and she picked out 56. And also put on this little drive a, uh, a, a copy of the audiobook, The Destination. So you can, uh, if you and have this. Four and a half hours. Yes, four and a half hours of listening to her book if you don't have time to read it, which many people want to read the um, paperback. But if you don't have time to read the paperback, it's right here available on the flash drive. We also have a couple of, at least one song that's not on any other venue. It's called Out of Egypt. It's a new song that she just wrote a few months ago, and it's an amazing song, and uh, you should hear that. But the only way you can get that song is either listen to it on YouTube, maybe, or it's on the flash drive here. So this is like, I wouldn't, it's a ministry card kind of thing. What yes. would you call this? I've never seen well, this. Well, I don't know okay. what you call it. I it's can a, tell you what, see? because they are now selling new cards. 
New cars. New cars don't and have CD cars. players anymore. Right, I understand. So and they you can kill take a musician because this is our music. bread, you know. Yeah. Uh, when people, when we uh, share yeah. and people buy a book and CDs, yeah. they actually sewing in our ministry because it's, a, it's faith, your faith donated basement, your faith donation based ministry, and they live by faith. And you'll be blessed. They're a Jewish ministry. I mean, all ministries are blessed, but God blesses you when you bless the Jewish people in a way that's not different, just he blesses you when you bless Israel, when you bless the Jewish people. You want to sow into three areas. You want to sow into the Jewish people, you want to sow into the supernatural power of God, and you want to sow into, um, you want to sow into those that are moving in the, in the, in the, you want to sow into the Jewish people, you want to sow into Israel, and you want to sow into those that are moving in the supernatural power of God. God will bless you, Jew or Gentile. But when you sow into a ministry, an Israeli ministry, a Jewish ministry that God has blessed, he will bless you. This is their bread, beloved of God. And so these musics, how many songs on here? 56, 56 songs. 56 songs, and what is this you plug in? What is that? That's the USB port. It's a USB port, and you plug it in into your laptop, into or come, or a car, in the car, or in, in the car, and it's light, and you can fit it in your little pocketbook, ladies. You can fit it into your little wallet. Same and, size as the credit card. And same size as the credit card. And this little USB, this little piece here, can you see it? It closes right like that. You hear it snap, and you never know it's there. And it's four hours of, of ministry, and it says here, best songs and audio book, The Destination, Oksana Eliyahu. It has her um, Oksana at oksanasite.com. The telephone number, I love this, a Jewish star with a heart in the middle. Absolutely love that. And the website is www.oksanasite.com. And so if you want them to come to your ministry, they can tell, she can tell a testimony, they can share their travels, their adventures, they will encourage you to come up higher in God. You know, a lot of times in the church we like to be entertained now, we have a new gospel that if we're not entertained, we don't want to hear about God. This is not entertainment, this is a testimony. We overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. And love not our lives unto death. So this woman and man of God, they have, they have like the destination, the cover on this is et al, is uh, el al, is the Israeli airplane uh, company. And it's an airplane and it has Oksana standing with her guitar in one hand and her suitcase in the other. And she's at an airport and she's headed to Israel, headed from Israel, headed from Russia, headed to Russia, headed to Vienna, headed out of Vienna, headed to Italy, out of Italy. And so, you know, there was once a, um, uh, uh, a book, and she's like a gypsy. She says, Gypsy for the Lord. You know, maybe that's the next book. <laughs> gypsy, gypsy for the Lord, that would be a good title. Yeah. And all she did was say yes, yes. And where do you fit into this picture? Right well, um, I suppose in many respects, I, I help put everything together to make it happen. Uh, whether it be the 10 albums or whether it be our uh, ministry to Israel each year. Um, and you, you we, actually we are, had the vision. I didn't see it. If you, if you would like to partner with us for our ministry work in Israel, we, we will be going for about three months this year. And it's totally dependent on people to, uh, to help us do the ministry we do. The Holocaust uh, people survive. And by helping, I mean, we are speaking normally of uh, uh, financial assistance because uh, the work we do there can only be by fi financed by money. So, yeah, you would we like go to, help? to Holocaust survivors, uh, yes. believers and non-believers. Uh, there are so much, uh, you know, yeah. oh, they yeah. oh, yeah. work there. Oh, yeah. so much and to pe do. people are thirsty, and sometimes even non-believers, they, you know, maybe we cannot open to, yeah. we cannot share openly, you know, about Jesus right. Yeshua. But right. we, like, even in the song, sometimes people. You know, they yeah, sing it's anointed. With me. Your songs are anointed. They, some, some, uh, you know, people came and they say, you know, I heard so many religious songs, but when I hear you, I think maybe yeah. there is God. Yeah. So people are just, you know, especially older people, especially from Russia, they were brainwashed like I was. Mm -hmm. So for them, even to think that God exists, it's like uh, it's very different thoughts. Mm -hmm. So. 
Yes, we, we do have, uh, uh, you know, like full-time ministry. We don't have another work. So we trust in God and He's faithful. And He's faithful. Okay, He's and, faithful. And He uses people. Yes, He doesn't just uh, right. uh, throw exactly. money yeah. for yeah. all. Yeah. 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 We, we haven't find found a tree yet with $100 bills right. on it. Right, and you're right. Well, manna, oh, manna flowing. Yes, manna That's comes from heaven. But He say, uses money and He uses people to give money. Amen. If Amen. you go, you let go to work 40 hours a week, thank God you're allowed to go to work. We're, uh, we have to do ministry. We're not allowed to go work nine well, to five. I was trying you know? in the beginning. I, I was, was too. really trying to I was find too. work. And I have so many skills, you know. I can actually do, do video production. Yeah. I can do many things. Yeah. But because we travel, yeah. I can't. can't do it right. because uh, it's many times local. If you need some work that I can do and you want to pay right. me, I, I'm ready. I'm right. ready, you right. know, like Paul to work uh, also right. in addition right. of what right. we do. And go stay. You travel in a bus. That's so, right. So if and video, I'm the chauffeur. So, and you're the chauffeur and you're the protector and you're the guide. And so if someone wants to hire you for a month to do video, some church or... You know, they want to be trained in a certain area. You're open to that because you live in a bus. Yeah, yeah, we live you know. in a bus. They're like gypsies for the Lord. That's wonderful. It's like wherever you go, what did Ruth say? That's how she met her boys. I will go where you go. Your God shall be my God and your people shall be my people. Wherever you go, I will follow. And it led her to her boys. So how many of you ladies will say today, oh, Lord, wherever you send me, I'll go. Whatever you want me to do, I'll go. I'll surrender. You know, people say, oh, I'm lonely. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to meet a Christian yeah. man. You do the work of the Lord, beloved. He knows exactly where you are. He knows your heart. Amen. And so we talked about the destination. We talked about the singing. We talked about, um, I love that, recording an, an artist from Israel. So you, you live, you, you, now I didn't tell you this. You didn't know this. I'm of Russian descent as well. And I found mm -hmm. out that my father's sister called me about 25 years ago and she had told me that both sides of my family, well, I had asked my mom, and we're Jews all the way back, Russian descent on both sides from the tribe wow. of, from the tribe of Levite. Yeah, from, I, don't speak, I don't speak Russian, but I thought, <laughs> God, when I met you, I thought, Lord, I said, there's something to that. There's something to that. And there's some Austria from my mother's side, you know, some from Austria. And so, there's, we don't I, I actually it. teach we, Russian or Hebrew if somebody would like, uh, you know, I can teach on Skype. Today you look at that. See? Again, I, we do need finances. We are looking for more yeah. because you know we we go for love offering. We never yeah. ask for any uh, payment or right. money right. or fees. Right. We come by faith and saying whatever God put in your heart, right. this is what we uh, we want you to give right. us. Right. And this is the Bible is clear of that. The Bible says in First Corinthians chapter nine, if people say, "Oh, well, they are about money," well, who would work for free? You have to pay bills. You have to eat. It costs the show. You have to pay electric. You have to pay for the venue. Sometimes you have to do pay the, the lighting. You have to, you know, whatever the case is. And this is coming to you free of charge because we love you, beloved of God. But God said in First Corinthians chapter nine, Paul was the Corinthian church. Where they were hollering because he was asking for money. He was asking for money, and they were hollering. He says, "Listen, don't I minister to you? Don't I help you?" And then he went on to say, "He said, who tends to the temple and doesn't, you know, who goes in the field and doesn't eat thereof?" But he said, verse nine, the Lord said, "For God has ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel." So when I first read that, I said, "Well, God, how?" How would people, when I began to get into the ministry, I said, how would people, how would people live of the gospel? God said, I use people. And then he brought me to when the Jews were given the land and all the tribes were given their land. The Levites were yeah, not given right. any land. And who are the Levites? Those are the ones that minister unto the Lord. The Levites are the ones that minister unto the Lord. And he said that you don't get any land. He said, I'm your inheritance. You minister unto me. And then he told all the other tribes of Israel, as I bless you, you to take a tenth and give it to those that minister unto me. And that's God's plan. God's plan is that believers ought to minister. If I, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9, if I give unto you carnal things, spiritual things, you're to give unto me carnal things. Well, what is that? Housing, food, electric, 
You know, it's money, beloved. It's money. So we're not begging. We're just saying this is God's way. This is how the kingdom operates. And then with that, if you bless a ministry that God is blessing, God will bless you. God will bless us. Amen. So with the singing and the writing and the destination and the travel, when I became introduced to this beautiful man and woman of God, they, um, she gave her testimony and she sang. And no, she's not a preacher, but she incorporates the way God moves through her. Is she incorporates the wisdom of God, the, the, the anointing of God through her testimony to where she makes God alive in her life, to where he's tangible. And you'd never know it. She's so humble, you never, they're so humble, you'd never know it. But when they move, they move in the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you want to have them come, we're going to tell you right now, actually, we don't want to run out of time, how you can reach them and how you can connect with them. I just also wanted to say that, uh, you know, if you would like to read the book, but you don't want to buy it, I would love to send it to you for free as a PDF file. It's not, uh, so it's something that you can read only on your computer or your, or your phone. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind to do it, uh, even, uh, you know, we invested tons of, uh, you know, resources. But I would love to do it uh, if you are interested, because bottom line, we want the story. Uh, that people can read it, that people would know uh, and be impacted and really, you know, by our testimony we overcome because I know how encouraging it is. So the only thing that you should do, you can just send me email. It's Oksana, O-X-A-N-A, -A, at, again, Oksana, O-X-A-N-A, -A, site. It's like a short of website. S I T E dot com. So it's Oksana at Oksana site dot com. And uh, just write that you heard this uh, from uh, this show uh, and uh, you would like to get uh, the PDF file of the book. And I would be more than happy to, to send it to you. Just leave me your name and, uh, and send me a short email. And it's a, uh, it's a, the destination, it's, it's, let's see, let's see the reviews. Oksana Eliyahu's unique voice, as she puts it, with an accent in every language, drew me in from the first word and held me captive to the last. I'm talking about her testimony. I haven't read the book yet, but I'm talking about her testimony. Compelling and at times heart-wrenching, the destination takes the reader from communist Russia and erects the land of Israel with points in between and finally to the United States. It's a journey this reader won't soon forget. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. And so if you want to be encouraged, if you want to know more about God, if you want to have this woman of God, I mean, from communist Russia as a Jew, I know we have on the TV the Jew, Russians coming out of, out of uh, the Jews coming out of Russia, but this woman, this, this woman walked through it as a, not a Holocaust survivor, but a young survivor. My mom was and, a Holocaust survivor. And her mom was a Holocaust survivor, and she's helping the Holocaust survivors, because they're almost gone now, okay? They're almost gone now, and it must never happen again, amen? And so she has a heart to help teach you about God, to help bring the Holy Spirit, you know, the Ruach Hadash to you, to teach you how in a little girl's life, a young girl, how, how you can see the movement of God, amen? And how to meet your Boaz. We have probably 15 minutes. How did you meet him? You want to talk about it? Well, it's a, it's a long it? story. Well, it's a long can you, story. Can you condense it? How you well, knew? I mean, she did so much before she met you, but now that you're together, you're doing so much more. I so. can just say that uh, the first uh, time that I actually shared uh, my testimony in English, it yeah. was... Uh, uh, it was in your church. It was a church where I was ministering, and uh, and it went over very well. And she was uh, she was shocked, and uh, and at the end they no, and the people were saying, you know, oh, we are so blessed, yes, we are not going to be the yes, same. Yes. And I didn't understand. I, I even asked him, what what did I say? <laughs> I mean, what, what was so impacting? In her life. <laughs> so you so see the humility, just like a childlike, you know. What did what did Jesus say? What he say? You have to come to me as a child, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And that's why God uses them so greatly, because they're like children. They just say, yes, Lord, I obey, and they're just happy to obey God. And, 
And you know, you heard her say, was I good? Did I, what did I say? Did I say the right thing? Because she just wants to obey God and maybe that's you today. So tell me. In about a month, we'll be going to Israel. And, um, that's right, April. And when we get back, we will be able to, uh, if there's anyone that would like us to come to their congregation, we will be traveling through the Midwest, uh, probably starting in July, uh, July and August, mid September. Uh, so if you have a congregation in uh, any of the Midwestern states, uh, Ohio, uh, Indiana, uh, Illinois, Kentucky, uh, maybe even in Tennessee, and Missouri, mm -hmm. and Iowa, uh, contact us and we would be happy to try to fit you into the schedule. Phone. Our phone number uh, is 816-914-4045. That's 816-914-4045. I just also wanted to say that we we don't just go to big, huge churches. We go to small home groups. Yes. We go to small churches in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. We go anywhere that open door. Anywhere and that believe open me, door. sometimes you think, oh, you're going to big church. Right. It's a right. you know a big right. love offering. Right. Right. It's not right. God works so different. We went to so to good. church that was four people. And we had tremendous story. Mm -hmm. We went to a group of six people. Mm -hmm. We went, uh, one day we came to, a pastor said we have about 40 people. And we came, there were two old ladies came. That's all, two old ladies. We made the service exactly like we would do for, that's for right. 100. That's right. A thousand and we people. got $8 love offering, <laughs> even though we spent tons of money to just get I've there. Been, I've been there. But you know state. what? God is so yes, faithful. Is His faithful. ways are so different. Yeah. Because you know, sometimes you you have this kind of and you think, God, like how we're gonna, you know, eat? Yeah. How we're yeah, gonna? How we gonna do yeah, this? Yeah, we, we can't really lose money. We had I this understand. to cover. Oh, yeah, but yeah. God is making you know the way and and showing His uh, you know glory and faithfulness and goodness in the way that you like always surprise he is always you know surprising me you know can can make such a miracle that you never expect uh, never, you never, uh, no, you never well, expect, expect how he how he works he's miraculous we know from the stories in the bible that god can always open the dead sea he can part the dead sea for you to cross if if you are available to do his work that's good what would you say to a young man? I know we've geared mostly to women finding it, but what would you say to a young man that's looking for his princess? Mm -hmm. And and to you know, I mean, I've heard a preacher say, "You believe her for a wife? Brush your teeth, you know, oh, oh, clean oh, your clothes, <laughs> you know." You that's know, a good yeah, point. Yeah, yes. that's a good point because women, you know, when, who? I'm not. I'm gonna leave that to you. What well, would you well, say? We can read one chapter for them. Well, we could, <laughs> yes. But one thing it seemed to me when I was looking for so, a wife. And I saw what other people were doing. Many people were wanting God to bring them a wife that lived across the street from them. Mm -hmm. And that's not exactly what I did. She was, she was 6,000 miles away. Uh, but you have to leave that door open for, for that to be someone that, uh, that he so has good. in mind for you. So good. Because uh, uh, he, he can make it happen uh, no matter what obstacle is in the way. But you have to let it be uh, available to uh, to follow his will. And well, you many, have to many think. people say just a uh, hundred uh, miles uh, right, right. radius. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It just has yeah. to be in this radius. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. But you have you, to be, you limit God. You have yeah. to not limit God. You have to have all the area outside of that circle right. available as well. Yeah. I met a couple um, when I was one time working in a store years ago and she didn't speak much English. She was the sweetest woman she was so just hanging on to his arm and she was beautiful. And so I said to him, and they weren't young, they're probably in their 50s. So I said to him, how long are you two married? He said, one year, one year, he told me. So I said, I believe it was one year. So I said, how did you find such a beautiful woman so sweet like that? He said, you really want to know? He had broken English, he was from the Ukraine. And I said, yes, I really want to know. And so he said he found her online and two years, they talked on Skype, and he fell in love with her, and, and she, they spoke Yugoslavian or Slav, whatever the language is. He said, so I decided 
I asked her to marry me, and I went to Yugoslavia, and I went to get her. I mean Ukraine. He said, I went to get her. He says, and I brought her here. So she speaks a little broken English, but he says, I fell in love with her in those two years on Skype. Like you said, oh, I don't want to do long distance. Oh, I can't see her. Oh, I can't kiss her. I can't hold her. What is all that? Here we go. We're being serenaded. Well, we're serenaded. Yeah, we get serenaded once in a while. And so, and so, yeah, once in a while we get serenaded. And so, what you said, keep your, keep your, keep your, <coughs> eyes open, keep your sphere open. It may not be, she, oh, she's gonna walk in the church and I'm gonna see her, the most beautiful woman I ever saw, or the most handsome man I ever saw. That may do it different ways. He may bring a wonderful woman like this to a man like you from another world, meaning Russia, Vienna, Italy, all over the globe. And, and, and also it's very important, you know, especially when you are younger, it's kind of harder. That's why I was, uh, you know, writing that, uh, you know, first if you, if you, uh, you didn't read the book, if you, if you read our first meeting, you know, it was really disaster, by the way. It was a disaster. I don't want to tell more, but I sure, surely thought, God, this is not a man not for, a me. Man for me. me. No way. What? This is not oh my, my type. This is not, this is, this is, this is, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> but again, then uh, you know you need to open your spiritual eyes. Yeah, that's right. Because when I really learned more about him, you know, it was I saw the man of God. You need to look for a man that really he has a heart for God. Because you know, I I write in my previous experience. You understand. So this good. is a very very important. And for men, it's the same. You know. By the way, we were just. Uh, uh, speaking about this in, in the car, you know, I, I said, would you, you know, let's say if I would be a woman who believed in different God, you know, in Allah, let's say, mm -hmm. you know, would you still marry me? I put him in a, in a difficult situation because I said it would be me. But then he, he didn't answer for a long time. I said, you know, I can answer for you. You would not. You would not. Please, yeah. if if he uh, if he or she doesn't worship the same God, please don't right. marry. This is not a good way because right. it, you know there are so many uh, places in Scripture showing what right. happened after this kind of marriage. See, the Bible tells us even atheism, by yeah. the way, it's yeah, a that's right. Even you know, stupid. Listen, she's telling such a. I mean, it's so deep. We're, we're just about, we have about three minutes left. That's a whole other subject, a whole other, a whole other venue. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, I believe this, 6, 6, 14, don't be unequally yoked with non-believers. What does that mean? That means especially in marriage, especially in marriage. What does light have to do with darkness, it goes on to say. Come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will be your God, and you shall be my sons and daughters. That's the scripture. We need to have more preachers preach on the scripture. We can't be unequally yoked. We cannot marry someone that doesn't serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yeshua, his son, and the Holy Spirit. And we, many people say, oh, he's God. This one's God. That one's God. There's only one true and living God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, that's right. And so there's only one. If you don't know him today, say, Yeshua, I believe that you are God. I believe that you're the Son of God. I ask that you come into my life. I believe that you were crucified, you were buried, and rose from the dead, and you live. I'm a sinner. I've messed up my life. I'm sorry, forgive me, I repent. I ask that you cover me with your blood that you shed for me on the cross. Thank you, Lord, that I believe in my heart and I say with my mouth, Yeshua is the Son of God. And when I close my eyes for the last time, you shall, I shall be in heaven with you, glorious heaven, when I leave this earth. Yeshua's name, amen and amen. God will give you purpose for your life, beloved. If you're a prodigal, come on home to Father. He'll put a robe on your back and a ring on your finger and he'll throw a party for you. Come on home to Father's house. God has a great work for you. If you just pray that prayer, find a church, a full gospel church. If you're Jewish, 
find a messianic congregation that maybe you feel comfortable with in the beginning or find a church that loves the Jewish people tell them you just found the Lord and you want a Bible teach me about God teach me about God the Father teach me about Yeshua teach me about Jesus teach me about the power of the Holy Spirit who he is and God will make sure that you learn beloved of God we have one minute left. Thank you so much, my Thank sweet. You. Oh my God, this is so good. I just love her spirit. I didn't get to know her that much, but we get to know her a little bit today. My friend, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you for what you do and loving her and helping the Holy Spirit do what he needs to do between the both of you for his purpose in thank the earth. You. And I honor both these people. They're true servants of God. They're not in it for the money, but yet it takes money to do the gospel, amen. If you want to find me on Facebook, Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Ministries International, as too, I come into the churches. I'll come and I'll flow and I'll release the glory of God. That's, I'll bring you closer to the things of the Spirit. That's my mantle. That's one of the things God called me to do. And I say, what does God call you to do, beloved of God? You don't have to be anybody special. God said you are special. You may not think you're special. You may not know anybody special. But God knows who you are. He knows your name. I love you more and more. Thank you so much. We'll see you next we'll time, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.